Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. God is good. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, welcome back to this family. If you haven't subscribed, I just am requesting you humbly to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, the Lord bless you as you subscribe. So today I want to talk about something very, very important that uh, normally troubles us as children or as a generation or kama uh, watoto. Unapata kwamba kuna wakati unapata umesoma sana wazazi wamekupeleka shule umesoma you are learned and uh, there is no job no matter how much you are trying there is no job and even apart from that even apart from uh, only the learned you find that you just grew up as a child and all of a sudden there is no luck in your life you are being followed by curses after curses and uh, things are not working well in your life and sometimes you ask yourself what is happening in your life. Sometimes they are generational curses. And uh, a generational curse is something, is a curse that travels from generation to generation. If akuna mutu ambaye amewai aribu ile curse, it is something that repeats itself. It is a pattern. So, unapata kwamba inafuata watoto kutoka kwa, kwa, kwa waza, wale ambao walizaliwa na mama mzazi, watoto wenu wanateseka na wale watoto wako takao waza. So, and uh, today I want to talk about something very different from the generation of us because many of the times that wakati mambo haiendi vizuri maishani mwetu, the only thing we are seeing is generation of us that maybe there is a curse in my family, maybe there is a curse that is hunting me, there is a curse that is following me. But today I want to talk about there is something very, very important important that we are leaving behind and this is very very important because inaweza changia pia kwa zile laana na mambo maisha magumu ambayo tunaona katika maisha yetu so this is about honoring our parents and honoring the, our guardians those people who raised who raised us and uh, those people who who brought us up or even those people that uh, were responsible uh, while we were still children they were responsible for our needs they were responsible for the things that we needed to 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 acquire while we were still children those are and especially now i want to talk specifically to the parents those who still have their parents or, or were privileged to see their parents so you know, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 that children obey your parents in the Lord, honor your father and mother so that the, ma the main reason of honoring our father and mother is so that we may live long in the land of the living and also so that all may go well with us. So Anytime you are honoring your father, you are honoring your mother. You are not just doing that because it is a command from the Lord. No, you are doing that so that you may live long in the land that the Lord has given you. And also number two, so that all may be well with you. All may go well with you. Because many are the times that you can be a learned person and uh, you can be a learned person, but... If you don't honor your parents, if you don't honor your mother, if you don't honor your father, those education is in either end up bore, zipote. Because honoring your father and mother, it is a command from the Lord and it has got uh, its benefit. Haijalishi kama mama yako mzazi ni mchawi ama hakusoma ama ni mtu wa aina gani lakini Biblia imesema kwamba honor your parents honor your father and mother and the bible says that children obey your parents in the lord for this is right in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 this is right honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth so honoring your father and mother sio tu kwa sababu ati unawaheshimu kwa juu ni wazazi honoring them opens the doors of long life to you and also opens a door of uh, success into your life i was a uh, kuna 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 Many are the times that even parents can testify. Anasema kwamba huyu mtoto wangu kabla ya hii jambo hili limtokea nimemuonya mara mingi, nimemuonya mara kadhaa. Nikamwambia kama umekataa kusikiliza basi dunia itakufunza. Na unapata kwamba dunia inamfunza anakutana na janga, anapatana na mambo ambazo zifai. Why? Because maneno ambazo zinatokanga kinywani mwa wazazi it is very very powerful. It doesn't matter hata kama baba yako ni mchawi, you carry his DNA. Hata kama mama yako ni mrogi, you carry her DNA. Her blood runs in your vein. 
The blood of your father runs in your vein. So you find that the things that they utter to us, the things that they speak to us, those words are very, very powerful. Sometimes we might ignore them. Maybe your parents are very old. My, your mom is old. Your father is old. You might ignore their words, but I want to tell you that those words are alive and those words will haunt you. If you are doing good to your parents and they always speak blessings over you and speaking good things over you, good things will follow you. And good things will be your portion and success will be your portion. I want to share with you this story from the Bible that will it is an eye opener that will show you and prove to you that it is our privy it is a uh, it is a our duty to honor our parents it is our duty to honor our fathers our mothers and even those who are ahead of us those who are above us it is our, our responsibilities to honor them because any time that we honor them. It doesn't matter even if they pay us, uh, they, they, they do bad to us or evil to us. Lakini wakati ambapo tunawaishimu, unapata kwamba mungu anangalianga. Mungu huwa anangalia. Mtu ambaye hauja mfanyia vibaya, hata kama amekufanyia nini, lakini wewe uja mfanyia mabaya, haiwezi kakufuata. A curse without a ground cannot stand. So, honoring our father and our mother, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, if you read in the book of Genesis chapter 9, verses 20, Bibili nasema kwamba Noah akaja akapanda, akapanda, inaituaji, akapanda vineyard. And while he had a vineyard, he planted a vineyard. And uh, now, aka, akanywa ile maji, ya na, ile maji ya nazi kutoka pale. So alipo kunywa ile na, maji, akalewa. Wacha nitumie kwa, kwa, kwa njie lugha ya sikuizi tunailewa kama pombe. So ile maji ilikuwa na uwezo wa kulewesha mtu. So noa baada ya kuchukua yale, ma, yale kinyweji kutoka kwa, kwa nazi pale na akanywa, akawa melewa. Na hii ilipata hii ni baada ya mungu kumkomboa. Baada ya kutoka sasa kwa safina, ile ambayo alikuwa mejenga. Na alitoka na wanayo watatu. So alipo talk, alitoka na, na, na wanawi watatu. And they were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So, these children, wakati ambapo Noah alienda akachukua ile maji ya mnazi akanywa. Noah akalewa. Na Noah alipo lewa, akalala. Bibili nasema kwamba alilala chini pasipo na kukumbuka kama amevanguo ama hajavanguo, wala kukumbuka kama mejifunika ama hajajifunika. Na wakati ambapo Noah alikuwa amelala, mba, amelala pale, Biblia inasema kwamba Ham, kijana ya Noah ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Ham, akatokelezea tu na akapata baba yake amelala uchi, ana nguo na amelewa. Na ye katika kuona ile maneno ni kama alifurahia kuona uchi wa baba yake. Na hakaenda kuita mandugu zake wawili, akawaambia ebu kujeni muone baba leo amelewa mpaka amelala uchi bila nguo. Lakini wale watoto werevu, wale watoto uvijana wawili ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Shem na Japheth. Ham alipoenda kuwaita kwamba kujeni muone baba amelala hana nguo amelewa. Shem na Japheth wakatafuta blanketi. Na walipofuta blanketi wakaweka kwa mabega yao. Moja akashika hii side na mwingine akashika hii side wakaanza kutembea kinyume nyume. Kinyume nyume meaning means that their back was facing their father while their face is facing away. They didn't want to see the nakedness of their father. So wakaweka blanketi kwa, kwa mabega yao and they were walking towards the father and then they covered their father who was now drunkard and didn't know anything. And now, when uh, after afterwards, Noah came back to his senses. Na wakati alipo, alipo rudi kwa senses zake, Bibili nasema kwamba haka spata kuelewa ili abari kwamba ham alimuona akiwa uchi na akafurahia haka ama akacheka na hakaenda kuelezea wenzake kujeni muone babako uchi. Na noa alimulaani ham, haka wachilia laana juu yake. Na ukisoma Bibili unapoendelea laana zilimfuata ham. Sasa ukiangalia hii story, makosa haikuwa ya ham. Makosa ilikuwa ni ya Noah. Noah mwenye alikunywa pombe, akalewa, akalala, na akalala uchi. Sasa Ham, makosa ikuwa yake. Na alipo kuja, akaona baba yake, amelala uchi. Badala ya kutafuta suluisho, kwa sababu huyu ni baba yake. Badala ya kutafuta suluisho, alifurahia na akaenda kuita wenzake mandugu zake wakuja waone, baba vile amelala uchi. So you find that ila ana ilipo achiliwa, ili mfuata Ham, kwa sababu gani, alikosa kufunika uchi wa baba yake. Alienda kutangaza, akifurahia vile ameona uchi wa baba yake. So you find that we as the children, 
Everybody, we have got parents. There is somewhere that we came from. There is a mom who gave birth to us. There is a dad who gave us to uh, who gave birth to us. Ata kama walisha pumzika mungu aliwachukua, but at least we had some people that we grew up in their hands through their hands. So na pata kwamba ham, this curse followed him because he failed to cover his father's nakedness. How many? How many are we that covers the nakedness of our parents? Covering the nakedness of our parents means that while they are doing, the, the, uh, there are something, their weaknesses that they have. Instead, ya kuatangaza, we cover their nakedness. How is it that you talk to Kwenda Kila Mahali, you can gaza with Mamayako ni Mulevi, Mamayako ni Mujinga, Mamayako ni Msherati, Mamayako ni Mwizi. How is it that you talk to Kila Mahali, you can gaza? Because when your mom hears that, or when your dad hears that, Aki Wachilia Laana Juyako, that curse will follow you. Kwa sababu gani? The Bible has told us to honor our parents, to honor our father and mother. The Bible did not command us to honor them if they are righteous, and the Bible did not command us to honor them if they are wicked or not. But the Bible said that honor your parents in the Lord. Honor your father and mother so that it may go well with you and you may live long in the land of the living. So those are the two things that we receive. Those are the two gifts that we receive when we honor our parents, when we honor our father and mother. So many at the time that unapata maisha yako imefungana, there is no blessing in your life. You are seeking for job, there is no job. You are starting up a business, it cannot go well with you. You are doing this, it is not working. Because the, the Bible says that so that it may go well with you. So you find that sometimes it is not just a generation of cast for, 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 following us. It is something that we fail to do. We fail to honor the older people. We fail to give honor to our parents. We fail to honor those who raised us. We fail to give honor to those people who, who are once a blessing to our, our lives. So honor comes with very many good things. So it is my desire that we can be like, like Shem and Japheth. Shem and Japheth, they saw the nakedness of their father and they, 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 they did not saw, I'm sorry, they did not saw, saw the nakedness of their father. They heard about the nakedness of their father and they tried every way possible to cover the nakedness of their father. So, wakati ambapo, you are exposing your father, you are exposing your mother, you are, you, you are you disobeying them, even in, in front of people, in front of, of your children, in front of their grandchildren. You are disobeying your parents in front of your wife. You are disobeying your parents in front of your, your friends. This is a great curse that you are bringing upon yourself. It will not go well with you. Until the day that you will come back to your senses and go back, apologize to them so that they may release a blessing to you. And they may release a blessing upon you. It is very, very good to honor your parents, whether they are learned or not, whether they are righteous or wicked. Honor them. Because any word that they will release from their mouth, that word can work against you or can work for you. So you just need to be very careful. So this was just a food for thought and uh, my simple advice that may help us so that we may not struggle in vain. We ask yourself, why are we not succeeding? Why are we, our businesses not succeeding? We are looking for job. We, we, we are not finding job. So sometimes we just need to sit back and, and reflect back on ourselves. Where did we go wrong? And the Lord will help you. May the Lord bless you. And may you have a victorious life. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you very much. And read in the book of Genesis chapter 9, verses 20. Verses 20 and also in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. And you will be able to find something good in your life. May the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you.